In this video I want to show you the method I use to hang my bikes in my two car garage and I don't have a lot of space here as you can tell I'm gonna zoom out here kind of step back here I got one car here I have another car here and I have my kids bike hanging over there if I swing over I have my tools racks so it's pretty packed so I was looking around for different style of racks or hangers and I finally decided to use this style because it really helps as far as getting it off the ground and getting it as close to the wall as possible and I can still kind of walk around the vehicle without banging my head and at this height I can actually go up to the bike use both hands lift it off the rack and just take it off I don't need a ladder or anything like that and let me zoom in here and I'll show you this little device that I picked up. As you can tell, this is a very simple rack you can use for hanging a bike. I picked these up at Home Depot or Lowe's and they were $6.598 each I believe. Very inexpensive, very sturdy and they also have another style that the two prongs you see sticking out actually have it, kind of like a Y shape and that's actually meant for the bike itself but I didn't like that style too much that's just me but you can use that also I think it's made by the same company so it spreads out the two prongs you see right here in this picture it spreads out more so it holds the bike very balanced this is the one I ended up using and you just have to screw this into the, uh, the wall stud so it works very well. I don't have a problem with it. It hasn't <laughs> dropped on my head or anything like that. It's very, very well designed and sturdy. And this is the one I have for my kid's bike. And that's the same one I'm using. So, anyways, I just want to show you these. Thank you for watching.